to Heidi's garage. We're back here. We're working on the M7. This is a 2006 Arctica M7. I picked it up last year and I have had nothing but problems. Very unfortunate. This is a sled I always wanted. Uh, this is my first like real sled that I could do like real sled things with. Like I could mod it, I could take it on the trails. Uh, I could have fun with it. A bunch of my friends, we all want to go out to the UP live in Michigan, so our upper peninsula and go riding. So I picked up this sled. I want to do some boondocking with it, a little bit of trail ripping with it. Figure, well, seems like a good sled. I've always heard good things about the Articat, which is a Suzuki 700 engine. Now the engine seems to be pretty good. My problem right now is it won't run. It just will not run. I'm gonna see if we can start it here real quick. Uh, I have gone through tons of diagnostic stuff with it. Uh, so, seeing what you guys know about these and if there's anything that you can point out. Uh, I'll list off the stuff that I've done so far. Okay, so the first thing I've done is went through the main wire harness. Uh, I checked for continuity all the wires. I tore off the old um, insulation that Articat put on these systems. Uh, I inspected every single wire that went through it and rewrapped it in new stuff. That's better. Checked every connection up here. I have all of my Heaters unplugged for my handlebars and my thumb warmer. We have the kill switch unplugged. Uh, we have the key unplugged. Literally everything's unplugged that has to do with the handlebars, so we shouldn't have any issues with that. Um, I have the hood unplugged, so this is just non-existent right now. So in case we have like a short up there, it won't matter. So the last few things that could make it an issue is the computer. So I don't know if you guys have ever had any computer failures, and if you have, do you just put a new one in? Do you find a used one? What do you guys like to do? Do you have failures with the uh, in intake air temperature sensor, the water temperature sensor, the TPS sensor, any of those type of things? Do you have many injector failures? And regulator and coil. Now I put a new coil on last year because it was running on one cylinder. So my problem with this thing, is I was running down the trail, cruising along, just put new plugs in it because it's you know beginning of a new season. It's the beginning of our 2022-2023 snowmobile season here in Michigan. We had the major blizzard. Um, I rode it for about 77 miles down this year. I was mostly boondocking through the deep powder and the drifts. And I had some friends up. We're like, let's go hit some trails. I made it about a quarter mile from the house, maybe not even, maybe an eighth mile from the house. Didn't make it very far and it died, like I hit the kill switch, just died. Just it, didn't want to run anymore, tried starting it, pull it, pull it, pull it, nothing. So, popped fuel line off, pulled it, great fuel pressure, sprayed everywhere, so that wasn't an issue. So we're like, man, it's gotta be an electrical, especially for this die. So we messed with the kill switch, nothing. Finally, I had to tow it back to the house. We've been fiddling with it for several days now. I pulled the 
Stator out to inspect it, looks fine. Asked my local dealer if they have any issues with the stators on these. Didn't know anything. They told me to sell it and get something else. I like the sled a lot, but if it's gonna keep having issues with it, as you can see in my previous videos, I've done a lot of work to the sled. So from a few clutching things I've done, diamond drive stuff, I put a whole new skid on it because that destroyed the sled last time up in the UP. I only got one ride on it up there, which is very unfortunate. And you know, skid disintegrated. So it's had a lot of problems. So I wanna know if you guys have had these problems with your M's and Crossfires too. Other than that, ride's great, especially with the new Fox Float Shocks in the back skid from the 08 M8 uh, snowmobile. So that's nice. And these front Fox Shocks seem to work pretty good. The steer's nice. Now I got a bunch of new steering components on it. So I've done a lot of work to it, put a lot of money into it, which is fine. That's what snowmobile's about. But I'm wondering if you guys have ever had this problem. So should I go and buy a new wire harness for it? Should I go buy a new ECU for it? Do I need to buy a new stator for it, even though it looks fine and it seems to ohm out okay? Do you guys have issues with the voltage regulators, even though it seems like, from what I've seen, it only runs like the headlights and the gauge? Or is it something completely else that nobody can figure out? I've searched on the forums, can't find anything, so I figured, well, let's try this. And yeah, we got brand new fuel in it, and it's got brand new plugs in it. Uh, that's about it. Right now that we've been trying, I've tested every single electrical thing on here, and uh, they all seem to test out fine with the specs I have. So I'm gonna see if I can start this thing and if I can get it to run for a few seconds. Now, I don't have the kill switch hooked in, because we got that unplugged, which is one of these wires up here. I think it's this one right here. So all that ready to plug back in. I don't have a feeling it's gonna run for very long. Put some gloves on it, because this thing pulls like a, not a pain in the butt. We'll, we'll give it a pull and see if it starts. I haven't tried it yet today. does it starts up and gets run for about that much time and then it bogs out and then I probably won't be able to get it started again so has anybody had this problem do I have like a super leaky injector or is it something else I could just keep pulling it over forever and it won't start and I'll just flood it out. So to me, it feels like it's some sort of capacitor that's charged up and then just releases in and takes forever to charge back up again. Or would this be just my coil just decided to, to drop both sides again? My, I tested my coil and it came back fine. Plenty of uh, resistance through it, doesn't have any low resistance. Um, my resistance for both primary and secondary are fine. 0.3 ohms for primary, like 8,500 ohms for secondary, so that seems like it's pretty good. It's not open, it's not broken. I'm making, I think it was like 13, 12 and a half to 13 volts out of the stator pulling over, so that seems plenty good. Um, is it just a failed sensor somewhere? Would a failed servo motor cause a no-run situation? Is that a fault code for it? I couldn't find anything of that online um, for if it's a if it's a fail mode. If it checks that it can't move it, that it's just gonna not run, uh, or is it just straight up just has got to get a new ECU for it or wiring harness? Uh, 
Um, a few miles to it. Literally, I think the only thing is the speed works can for the engine. That's it. it. Doesn't have a whole lot of stuff done to it. Speed works can, stock, stock pipe. That's it. No boondocker box doesn't have anything. It's stock. The injectors seem like they're throwing fuel into it because all I get is just super wet spark plugs in. So I'm definitely not getting spark. And I can't get spark if I pull it over and put my spark plugs on the head. So I don't know what that would be. Although besides the coil, unless my ECU is not telling it to spark, which it could be. Other than that though, I'm at a loss. So if anybody else has this issue, let me know. If you want to see how this sled rips when it is running good, you can follow my other channel. I'll link it in the description below, uh, Heidi's Outdoor Adventures, so you can check it out. Thing rips when it does. When it doesn't, it kind of, uh, kind of sucks. And this thing has been down a lot. <laughs>